In this video today, I will be showing you how we replace the glass on an iPhone 6S display. I will be showing you from start to finish. As you can see here, uh, the screen was broken down in the corner. And I'm going to be showing you how to uh, separate the glass from the display step by step. And we can go through this together.
Now at this part of the repair, you're going to have to make a decision whether or not you want to replace the polarizer or if you simply want to remove the adhesive. Either way, here along the edges I would remove the adhesive. Um, you will see in this video that I remove the polarizer. Um, there is always a chance that it gets scratched um, and it's best to replace it. However, if you don't have polarizers or uh, glass with polarizers on them, I would suggest um, uh, uh, just cleaning the adhesive and that way you can use a, a glass or without a polarizer. If you have them with polarizers, go ahead and remove it and it will give you a cleaner finish. Um, it's more professional that way. So here you'll see me. I'm going to start here with this blade. I'm going to cut into the corner here and slide it across the top. This is a hot blade. Um, and you'll see I'm, I'm very careful and cautious and then I'm going to fold it up. We'll crease the polarizer um, back and then set down the blade on uh, the display and twist and slowly peel it off. And I find this part of the repair very satisfying.
Now this is the part that might be different. If you didn't remove the polarizer and you cleaned the adhesive, you will want to use a screen that does not already have the polarizer installed on it. This one does. You can see the line running down the glass there. That's to remind me that it's uh, still on there, the protector. So what I'll need to do is um, carefully uh, remove that. I do that by placing a uh, sticky tab. I'm going to make sure that it's completely clean before I, before I place it on there. But uh, I put the tab up in the top. Um, it's kind of hard to see me do this because uh, I need to do it quick. Um, but I'll remove the protector and I'll place it right over. And I'll put pressure in the center. You can see kind of creating a spot where um, it's adhered. And I'll take that and I'll put it over and I'll align it on this mat, stick it into my laminator, I'll push start, um, and put the vacuum on, and you will see uh, as I use the compressor, the heat, um, sorry for the shakiness, um, it will compress it, and after about 40 seconds, um, it will pop out. Uh, we will check and see if there are bubbles in under the glass, which normally on the success there will be a, a couple small bubbles in the corners. Um, we will be able to get those bubbles out using the autoclave that this will go into, and you can see the bubble there in the corner. Up top there's one, and at the top corner there's another tiny one. Um, we will stick that in the autoclave here for 15 minutes at uh, 48.5 degrees Celsius, um, and uh, once it's done we'll remove it. Um, here it goes. We are now almost at the 15 minute mark. Um, once that is done, we are simply going to test it again. Um, we will uh, make sure that there are no issues with the touch, with the 3D touch, um, with any of the pixels, and then we're gonna also verify that the backlight looks great as well. So here it's just finishing, opening it up, and we will take a look and see what's happened. 